Family and friends gather to receive the bodies of their loved ones. With both sadness and relief registered on their faces, they are happy that they can finally give their kin a befitting send-off, and at the same time, they are sad they did not get to say goodbye. Tuna praia sana kwa sababu mungu wa mengililia kufumisika kwa masi mpaka saai. Tunaona mkono wa mungu ukifanya kasi. Family say Masi left for Saudi Arabia in April last year, but died in October this year. Her aunt says she was attacked by a fellow Kenyan following a disagreement and was hospitalized for a month before she succumbed to the injuries. When she died, Saudi authorities reached out to them. Kama familia tungeliuliza serikali yetu ya Kenya, ili iweze kuchukua njukumu hili ya ku, ku, kupigania haki ya masi. Masi mtoto wetu apate haki yake. Mtoto wa masi apate haki yake kama serikali, ka, kama, fam, kama, kama mtoto wa masi. Pia tungeliuliza serikali ingililie hii jukumu. Watoto wetu wamekufia Saudi Arabia wengi sana, watoto wetu. Since the family could not raise funds to bring home the body, they opted to ask former Nairobi governor for help. Through his Sonko rescue team, Masi's body was flown into the country alongside Lucy Kea from Mombasa and Jacqueline Mudoni from Imenti, all died in the Arab nation. Our government, why is it manani? Because now it will now end up to end up Eh, ama kutafuta kazi. Wachukue the right criteria ama the right procedure. Ndo embassy hezi kujua mstana yutu amenda wapi, amenda kwa nyumba gani, nani ya ako in charge. In the last few years, about a hundred girls have lost their lives and hundreds others sustained serious injuries while working in the Arab nation. Some succumbed to starvation, poor working conditions, among other forms of employee alleged mistreatment. During his vetting in Parliament, Foreign Affairs CS Alfred Mutua vowed to put an end to the suffering of Kenyan immigrant workers in Saudi Arabia. Days after taking oath of office, CS Mutua visited the country and made a deal. Listening to the victims, the agents, Kenyan government officials and Saudi government officials, it is very clear to me that the problems that Kenyans are facing in Saudi Arabia actually do not start here but start at home. Unemployment is the major reason for most Kenyan women, especially those with the responsibilities to go looking for menial jobs in Arab countries. So far, Kenya and Saudi Arabia have agreed to set up a Kenyan rescue center in Saudi Arabia and regulate the recruitment agents. Ateno Owino, KTN News.